Hi everyone, Chris here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am in with a really quick unboxing video. I was lucky enough to be invited back to the LV Christmas party just a couple of days ago through in Edinburgh. Um, this is my fourth, I think fourth party. Sorry about the glare. Um, so a lot of people find these parties really cheesy um, and what's the point, but I really enjoy them. I find them so, so fun. Um, not only to shop, but obviously to meet friends. So myself and a group of people, we just meet up and we chat and we catch up. Um, to which, on that note, um, next year I need to chat last and shop first. Because I went in there with a hit list of three items that I really wanted to get my hands on. And I got one of the three um at the end of the night, it got to like half nine and I hadn't shopped at all. Um, I'd just been talking for so long. And I rushed over to the guy's counter and my good friend Laurel was like, right, okay, what are you looking for? We went into the drawers and they'd been cleaned out. Like the whole drawer was empty. So um, a little gutted on that. So I managed to grab, as I said, one of the three items that I wanted. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm just grateful that I actually managed to get something. Um, not only because it's something that I wanted, but also for this insane holiday packaging. Like, what the hell? This is incredible. Like, just, oh, the covers. It is just such a, it's such a beautiful bag. Um, and I can see why people now are taking this and framing it. I probably won't frame it, but it's a work of art. But I'm rambling here. This is an unboxing of one of the items that I wanted on my, um, that I had in my hit list for the end of 2019. So without you blabbing on too much, let me get right into the video. This is a little bit of a lie because inside this bag, I'm afraid there is nothing at all because the item that I purchased, they didn't make a bag big enough for the box. So strange. So Laurel oh so kindly knew how much I wanted one of these bags and um, she she gave me this as a little extra. But what she also gave me as well, she gave me a mini bag. <laughs> I am obsessed with this packaging. Like it is just, abs it is insane. It is beautiful. Um, so, so well done this year LV and this is quite possibly my favourite packaging ever. So, loving this, so thank you for that, Laurel. And um, she also gave me the new book. So the number 11 book, I absolutely adore these books. Um, they're just, they're such good reads. Um, there's so much inside them um, and they're so interesting. So I usually get them posted out, but as of late, or as of the last couple, they have been very sporadic and I've I've not always got them. So I thought, while I'm there, um, Laurel managed to grab me one. So that is what is in this bag. <laughs> bag and look how gorgeous this is, guys. Honestly, Laurel, thank you so, so much. Now, now this bag, which is just your standard large orange bag, which let me just take out said item. Ta-da! So, uh, we have proof of purchase, so just your little receipt. And this item has, it didn't come with a holiday tab, um, which is fine, it's cool, I have the bag. This has this gorgeous white ribbon that just has Louis Vuitton and gold, just around here. So when we take said ribbon off, there. <laughs> That was easier. This opens up to reveal. If you already, if you don't know already, I think the box is probably a dead giveaway. But ooh, it looks so soft. I picked up the monogram scarf. I can't remember the name of it. Let me get the receipt. Oh, okay, it doesn't give me a name. <laughs> it just says classic monogram noir. And um, what we'll do is I'll pop a picture of it on screen now, just so you guys can see what it's like. But it is just this gorgeous black, just all black, some slight kind of almost grey, oh that's a better view, 
um, sort of grey monograms and fleur de lis here. But I have two grey scarves and I do not own a black one. So for me, this was one of the items that I wanted to pick up while I was at the Christmas party. Um, so this is it here. If I go a little further back, it almost feels like a towel, which to some people could put them off, but um, a really, really soft towel. Now this is made of, where is the label? Oh, there it is there. Ah, okay, and here's the, um, the code information if you guys need to know. So that's the name. Sorry, I don't know what it says. And it's, um, oh, it's okay, it's a wool, it's 100% wool. If you can make that out there. Ta -da. Okay, so it's just 100% wool, likely only made in Italy. Now, what I didn't know, and Laurel had told me this about my Logo Mania scarf, but these little tabs are meant to come off. Because um, I've panicked that I had lost my tab in the Logo Mania one. And she's like, it's fine, they come off, it's natural. So if you do lose it, don't freak out, it is meant to happen. Just so you guys can see the contrast and the difference between the front and the back. So this is the front of the scarf. So as you can see there, so you have your black monogram. And then if you turn it over to the reverse, it's just this, it is this gorgeous grey. And the fleur de lis and the LV are black, whereas on the other side, it's um, the complete opposite, sort of black outside and grey inside. So, yeah, that's that. That is the scarf there. Um, <laughs> the one thing I struggle for, though, when I try and review my scarves is it's a scarf. And there's no real way to show you a scarf unless it's shown on me. Um, so I'll show you a couple of pictures of that. But that's it there. So that was my Christmas party pickup, and I think it goes with what I'm wearing today as well, so I'm going to try and wear it today just to try and get some use out of it. But that is the scarf. Again, I don't know the name. The name will be here. The name shall be here somewhere, and also some pictures of it. So, guys, that was that. That was my scarf. Um, you're currently balancing on the box, because I put it back in its box. I'm not going to show it on, but um, as I said, the I'll pop some modelling pictures in throughout the video just so you can see what it looks like. But I love this scarf. Um, as I mentioned, I really wanted a dark scarf. I wanted a darker scarf. I wear a lot of grey t-shirts and jumpers, so I wasn't a huge lover of the grey on grey or white on grey look. I just wanted a bit of a contrast. I'm so, so happy that I managed to get a black scarf and in something that's just so classic. A few videos that I've got next on my hit list I have my 2019 wish list. 20, not 19. I have my 2020 wish list video. What fits inside my bag. So I have a list of videos to work through. If you guys have anything that you really want me to see, please, please let me know. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining me in this video. As usual, I love the feedback that you guys give me on, um, on my videos. So thank you so, so much. And I have, I guess, kind of found a rhythm again for social media um, on my own page, which is just here, my um, business page, and I kind of love for YouTube again, so I really, really want to continue and keep this ball rolling into 2020 because I have so many exciting things that I'm doing next year, and I really want to share it with you. So anyway, if you have any questions about the piece or anything mentioned in my collection, please leave a comment below, but otherwise I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye.